Hello and welcome to the second episode of my writing lesson slash tips and tricks. Just trying to help those who are also on the path of the writer who perhaps aren't quite a lot far, as far as along the path as I am. Giving you some tips, some things to ponder over. Now in lesson one I went over having ideas and things like backing up your work and trying to keep notepads or something with you at all times so you can write your ideas down, that sort of stuff. Now, this lesson is what do you do once you have an idea? Well, the next step from that initial spark of inspiration and just jotting down a, a general idea is what kind of story do you want to do with that idea? Now, sometimes you'll have a full-fledged idea, you know, it's like, okay, I want to do a fantasy story, it's going to have this, this, and this in it, and, you know, you know, you saw something, and, you know, you're going to take that something and turn it into a story, or a character that's going to be in the story, or something like that. A lot of times, when you have a good idea, it'll kind of tell you what it wants to be, but not always. Sometimes you might just see something that you want to do a story about, but that's about as far as you get the idea through when you write it down. So when, in those times, when you have an idea, but you're not quite sure from the, the get-go what kind of story you want to do, you need to decide. Okay. Um, you know, and at this point, I'm not talking about outline. That's later. Outlines come later. I'm just talking about getting an idea of what the genre and direction you want to go in is. Okay. For example, here's a writing prompt. In the late winter, a fallen angel was getting married. Okay. You can do a whole story. Hell, you could do a whole novel just off of that one sentence. In the late winter, a fallen angel was getting married. You know, it's one of those things that it's... Uh, really good writing prompts are like taglines for a movie or something. Okay, but let's examine this line. In the late winter, okay, that gives us a time period. So that that's a definitive thing, late winter. So we could be talking, you know, but, you know, that doesn't necessarily tell you where it is. So it, depending on where you want to place this, you could still do a tropical story. Late winter doesn't mean shit. Okay, but Fallen Angel, there's different ways you can interpret the Fallen Angel. You know, are we talking about a hooker who made good? Um, you know, you could do that as a romance story, you could do it as a detective story. Okay, because Fallen Angel is often, or you know, it used to be often... A euphemism for whores. Are we talking literally an angel? A supernatural romance, horror, or thriller, perhaps? You know, it could be a pilot that's in a group called the Fallen Angels. Or maybe the Fallen Angels is a band. Or they could be a group of sci-fi pirates. Okay, Fallen Angel is just there to give you, you know, it's a prompt, it's there to give you an idea. But it doesn't tell you necessarily anything about what the story is going to actually be. So if you actually look down at an idea, don't just go with your first gut instinct. Often that will be good. And probably nine times out of ten, your gut instinct will be what you go with. But once you have an initial idea, you can go further than that. You can write down other ideas. And one of those might turn into another idea for a book all its own. Okay, maybe like I just did. I just jotted down a few things that this could, this, this prompt could be a story about. A hooker who made good that you could do a couple of different ways. You could do lots of different ways, really. You know, again, a fallen angel that's getting married... And you could do that, you know, supernatural, you know, you could just do straight up romance, horror, thriller, okay? I mean, that movie's been done, 
book's probably been written, but you could do your own spin on that and do it your own way. You know, again, or a group of pilots, or a band, or a group of sci-fi pirates or something, or just actual pirates, you know, in the the 1800s, 17, 8, 16, 17, 1800s, whatever the hell it was that pirates were at their height. I think it was the 1700s. No, probably more like the 15, 1600s. I'm kind of tired at the moment, so my brain's not on full capacity at the moment. Sorry about that. But, you know, actual pirates from the past, whatever time period it was that they were at their height. Okay. So, uh, but uh, back to what I was uh, actually trying to talk about there is that, you know, if your initial idea our gut instinct about this is that actually an angel, a fallen angel, a demon, if you will, and however you want to do that, that's fine. But, you know, by jotting down some of these ideas, you know, you could do a story about a hooker who made good as a romantic detective story. You could do something about a pilot group called, or, you know, a group of pilots that, you know, pilot airplanes, or something called the Fallen Angels, or something else. Or you could do, a, you could also, at some point, get take the idea of doing something about a band and do that. Or the Pirates, you know. That's why it's always good before you just dig into a story to sometimes brainstorm about what else you could do with what you've already got with your idea because that could lead to all sorts of other ideas. If you have a problem with writer's block when it comes to getting started because you have a problem coming up with ideas, once you have one idea, see if you can get some other ideas from that one. Okay. You know, and of course your interests are going to play a huge part in this process because if you love fantasy, chances are you'll want to work in fantasy. If you love sci-fi, you'll want to work in sci-fi. If you love detective novels, you'll want to work in detective novels. Okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. Of course not. You know? But I do, personally, I think it's a good idea to branch out. So, uh, You know, which is the thing about writing the story is that you don't really have... There are no rules. Okay? Genres are there so that if you get published, you have categories to stick your book into. You know, if you're going to self-publish through Amazon or something on Kindle, they give you like two or three categories that you can put your stuff into. Okay? So if you want to do a romantic detective story, you can put it in both of those categories. Okay? And if you get published, they'll read the story, they'll decide what genre it fits into best. It'll be the dominant genre. But you can take any genres you want and throw them into a damn blender and get whatever you want out of it. Okay. You know, it's like uh, the the Xanth novels. Are, they're basically all romance novels. You know, there's a lot of adventure in them, but pretty much every single Xanth book, which I love... I don't really care for romance books at all, but that's what makes the Xanth books so good, is that they're kind of romance novels without being romance novels. But you you look at them, and damn near every single one of them starts off with a male and a female character, or mul multiples, who end up hooked up romantically by the end of the novel. And that usually is a thread that runs through the entire book. In addition to the typical formula of them going to see the magician Humphrey and getting a, you know, going on a quest, there's usually some romantic aspect to what they're doing. Okay, so you can do whatever you want when it comes to genre. It's just whatever a dominant genre it is, is probably going to be the section that it gets stuck into. Although I don't think they're always accurate on that.
because personally I don't think things should be stuck in a fantasy section if they cross certain lines and go dark. I think dark fantasy should be its own genre because it, it should be retitled because to me fantasy should actually be fantastic. To me a fantasy world is one, you know, as a genre even. A fantasy world is actually a world you would want to go to and be in. Okay? Even Middle Earth. Middle Earth has its problems, but there are still things about it that you would want to go there over. There's a lot of the, you know, dark fantasy has become a trend because of, I'm not going to go into all that because I hate the, that as a genre. It's just completely opposed to what fantasy is in my book. Sorry for the pun. You know, so it should be off on its own someplace. It's, it has nothing to do with fantasy. It, the, the genre of fantasy is just being nasty and grim for the sake of being nasty and grim. Sorry, I'm, I'm going off on that when I said I wasn't going to. Let's get off of that. Okay, so, but yeah, for the most part, you can take genres and throw them in a blender. But I will add that one caveat that, at least in my opinion, there are certain genres that have aspects to them that shouldn't be fucked with. You know, I don't think you should be able to call a book sci-fi just because it's set in the future or something and you have a, some gadgets that you've created to go in it. You know, if you happen, if you do a story that happens to be a, a somewhat of a sci-fi setting, but the book has nothing to do with any sci-fi elements, it does not belong in a sci-fi section. Okay, if you are doing a, a novel and it happens to take place in a vaguely sci-fi or a vaguely uh, fantasy setting, but not, absolutely not a fucking thing in the story has anything to do with fantasy as a genre, then it does not belong in the fucking fantasy section. You know, if you do a book that the character is a detective, but he's not actually solving any crime or anything during the course of the story, it does not belong in detective fiction. It's not a detective story if they're not actually solving anything. Okay? So there are aspects of the genre crossing that I don't agree with. But, uh, maybe you feel differently. I can't force you to feel the same way I do. To me, it's just common sense. But, okay. So, that that pretty much sums it up. In fact, I rambled on about this way longer than I had intended to. But, such is life. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty. That pretty much sums up the whole thing because, you know, like I said, it's just once you get your initial idea. Next, it's where do you want to take that idea? So I do have a homework assignment for you. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to you, but I'm also going to put a link to my website. It's a forum, acidbathproductions.biz. Um, I've already got this up as a post there, so I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description. When you finish watching this video, I want you to go ahead and go to that post so you can see a better, you know, so, uh, for a reference for the, the lesson I want you to do, the homework assignment. Okay, and then once you complete the assignment, join the website. There are a couple of anti-spam things to get through, but they're not real bad and post the story that you come up with on that same thread, okay? It's writing lesson two, what kind of story? In the, uh, well, let's see, the chain to get to it is Acid Bath Productions, forums, this, that, and the other, writing, writing lessons and challenges, 
writing a lesson to what kind of story okay so that that's the location in the website okay so the website itself is called acid bath productions forums the oh the the broad section is this that and the other which is just a bunch of different things if you couldn't guess then there's the writing category or writing section and then it's under writing lessons and challenges which is a child board of that and then the the actual post is writing lesson two okay so you should just use the link that's the easiest way but just in case you should be able to find it all right so your assignment for this is to um, take that writing prompt I mentioned earlier and I want you to write a story using it and one of the following as well I will repeat the first one and all of the next ones so you can choose what you want but again it's easier it will be easier for you to pick once you've gone to the website and checked the lists and really looked through it but I'm gonna go ahead and go over it here um, but before you um, actually write the story, I want you to just jot down right quick. You know, I want you to brainstorm where you're going to go with it. Because I'm just giving you two writing prompts. That's the assignment. Take two writing prompts, one fixed, one you should get to choose, and write a story about it. But before you do that, write down a quick planner to flesh out where you, what you want to do with the you know your idea as it were and then I want you to when you post your story I want you to post that first you know maybe put some uh, some you know a couple of spaces or something and then extra the story and the title below it and then you know post the story or you know paste the story in underneath it so we p other people can see your process for fleshing out some you know something vague and how you flesh it out a little bit again this is not an outline it's just you know again in the late winter a fallen angel was getting married and then there's another writing prompt uh, from a list you can choose from okay and i just want you to take those two writing prompts type them out on your computer, copy and paste them, write them down in your notepad, however it is you process. And then I just want some sort of, you know, a few other things you could do with a few of the ideas of what you could do with it. And then pick one and just, you know, what kind of genre you want to do. Just a real basic idea of where you would like to go with the story you know a few just a few lines worth okay the, like i said this is not a whole outline or anything it's just a a synopsis basically of what you would like to do with it okay so here is the first prompt one more time just to make sure in the late winter a fallen angel was getting married okay and here is the list of other prompts that you can use okay just pick one of these it will be a strange year a year of kindness, a year of ignorance. Next one, I've got my suit, now I'm ready. Next one, I found that all rogue lords lack any understanding of knowledge. Next, once I was a researcher, now I am a rogue robot, but the truth is quite different. Next, she is just a rotten girl. Next, he will be my guiding star and my one constant in life, but that's a lie. Next, he will be the bane of my existence and my one constant in life. Next, the man will be crying all day. That was the problem. Next, I was born in an office building, grew up in a factory, and died in a store. Next, I am a jock with my desks and my suits and it is cool okay in addition to those or pick one of those in addition to the in late winter a fallen angel was getting married one do your synopsis 
of where you'd like to go with it and then write the story then post on this same thread as the lesson is on yeah that wasn't clumsy spe speaking at all okay so thank you for watching uh, give me give me that uh, vote up, the thumbs up if you want. That's always appreciated. Leave a comment if there's anything else you'd like me to cover. I will do my best and ask any questions if you like. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, subscribe so you f can know when I upload other videos. And there I do a variety of different things, but you'll be able to keep up with what I'm doing in regards to any of the stuff I do that you might be interested in watching you can keep up with it by subscribing so please do so thank you once again for watching I'll see you on the next one bye